loss of balance. Do you know what happened to my body? Oh, I see. You know that dizzy can be uh, related to the high blood pressure. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. What is the, the related between blood pressure and my dizziness? Oh, you know that. Uh, because uh, when we feel a uh, dizziness or serious dizziness, it can lead to the stroke. And as you said before, uh, you lost your balance, right? When we when we lost our balance, uh, it may cause stroke. That's the disease of the heart blood pressure. So, what I should do now? Oh, we need to go to the clinic to check our BP. Uh, nearby pharmacy. I don't want to go to the clinic because I fear of injection. Oh, don't worry. Blood pressure is not measured by the uh, it's not measured with the injection. It's measured by the instrument. That's we call that speed draw more monitor. Oh, that's a relief. So, let's, let's enjoy, enjoy our, our video. video. Speed more manometer. What is speed more manometer? Speed more manometer, or also called a blood pressure meter, is an instrument or device that specifically designed to measure arterial blood pressure. What is the use of speed more manometer? Is it used to monitor blood pressure by measuring the force of the blood in the heart where the pressure is greatest? Used to monitor the effectiveness of medication and other methods to control hypertension and to become diagnostic aid to detect various diseases and abnormalities. Why is knowing blood pressure is important? Is it important because it can be a reason to silent killer? Heart blood pressure often has no symptom. By checking the blood pressure is the only way to know if a person has heart blood pressure. When higher blood pressure is, the higher risk of health problem in the future that may lead to a heart disease through kidney disease or dementia. What are the common types of speed more manometer? There are three types of speed more manometer, which are Mercury, Android, and Electronic. How to use a speed more manometer? What you will need is a quality stethoscope, an appropriately sized blood pressure cuff, and a blood pressure measurement instrument, speed more manometer. Step 2. Prepare the patient. Make sure the patient is relaxed by allowing 5 minutes to relax before the first reading. The patient should sit upright with their upper arm positions so it is level with their heart and feet flat on the floor. Remove excess clothing that might interfere with the blood pressure cuff or constrict blood flow in the arm. Be sure you and the patient refrain from talking during the reading. You can measure the anticubicle space or the elbow piece is in the area on the inside of the elbow. Time to choose the proper cuff size. Wrap the cuff around the patient arm and use the index line to determine if the patient arm circumference falls within the range area. Otherwise, choose the appropriate smaller or larger cuff. Position the stethoscope on the same arm that you place the blood pressure cuff, palpate the arm at the anticubical fossa to locate the strongest pulse sounds and place the bell of the stethoscope 
over the brachial artery at this location. Position the stethoscope. On the same arms, anything faster may likely result in an inaccurate measurement. Continue to listen as the blood pressure cough pressure drop and the sound fit. When you hear sharp tapping sound followed by regular clear tapping sound that is called systolic blood pressure. When the sound disappears, not the reading which is called diastolic blood pressure. Systolic blood pressure equal to 125 mmHg. Diastolic blood pressure equal to 76 mmHg. Actually, blood pressure is higher in the morning and lower in the evening. If the blood pressure reading is a concern or must or white coat hypertension is suspected, a 24-hour blood pressure study may be required to assess the patient's overall blood pressure profile.